former president Tolisha Gomba Sanjo has written to a UK court pleading for clemency for a former Nigerian deputy senate president, Ike Ikwere Madu, and his wife Beatrice, who were recently convicted for organ harvesting. This was stated in a leaked letter dated April 3rd, 2023, and addressed to the chief clerk of the court, titled Ike Ikwere Madu. Obasan just stated that why stated that why the Enugu West Senator's actions condemnable and unacceptable. He has contributed his quota to Nigeria's social political development and thus his punishment should take into account his past records of good deeds and the plight of the ailing daughter. In March, the old ballet courts in London, UK found Senator Iko Ekoremado, his wife Beatrice, and a medical doctor, Obina Obeta, guilty of an organ arrested plot involving a london nhs hospital they were found guilty of conspiracy to exploit a young man from lagos for his body parts equally mad with 25 year old daughter sonia who was to receive a kidney donation from the trafficking victim wept as she was cleared of the same charge by the courts the former deputy senate president and his wife were arrested in the uk and charged with trafficking of his 21-year-old street trader from Lagos for organ harvesting with intent to provide a kidney to Sonia in an £80,000 private transplant at the Royal Free Hospital in London, £80,000. Well, the statement reads, My dear Chief Clerk, may I seize this opportunity to condemn your utmost dedication to commend your utmost dedication and resourcefulness, which you have demonstrated with rare qualities of commitment and courage, while also upholding the cherished traditions of the public service. I am Shegun Olu Shegun Obasanjo, a soldier commissioned into the British Army of the West African Frontier Force in 1958 and rose to the rank of a full general in the Nigeria Army. I received the surrender of the Biafran army at the end of the nigerian civil war i was military head of state from 1976 to 1979 and elected president from 1999 to 2007 it is with great pleasure that i write in respect of senator ek query madu who i have known for over two decades within this period i have followed and watched with keen interest ek query madu's inspiring career which transversed private legal practice and administration, I recall with fond memories the be beginning of our political and social relationship at the outset of our collective quest for democratic rebirth for our fatherland during, fatherland. during my administration as a democratically elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria between 1999 and 2007, Ike Kwere Madu and had close relationship and interactions as staunch members of our political party, People's Democratic Party, PDP, and more so as he got elected into the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2003, of which he has since remained a member to date. Within this period of his service in the Nigerian Parliament, he has served as Deputy Senate President of the Senate and has added so many committees in various capacities and brought to bear his broad based experience in legal practice and public administration sometime in 2009 he was appointed as the first deputy speaker of the economic community of west african states ECOWAS, and made to lead at all committee to work for the return of to work for the rerun of the constitutional order in the niger republic or niger republic i clearly remind remember that in the Heady days of the keen contest for the presidential tickets of our party early 1999, he joined other way many Nigerians from the southeastern part of Nigeria to set aside extraneous considerations and ensure that Southeast unanimously adopted me for the presidency. This was without regard to the fact that my closest competitor 
hid from their part of the country. I truly cherish his God fearing, dispassionate, moderate, and pan Nigeria approach to national issues and developments in our multi ethnic, multi religious geopolitics. He dedicates himself to the service of God hmm, and humanity and he continues to play visible roles in national development. Though the Ikea Foundation, a non governmental organization founded by him and his wife in 1997, he and his wife have rendered a lot of charitable activities enhancing poor people's access to quality education and healthcare hmm, and building their capacity to participate in mainstream social political and economic activities of their communities. Ike Kwere Madu's confinement with the coveted national honor of commander of the chief a republic, CFR, is further testimony to his selfless service to our country, Nigeria. My chief clerk, I am very much aware of the current travails and conviction of Ike Kwere Madu and his wife in the United Kingdom resulting from their being charged with conspiring to arrange the travel of a 21 year old from nigeria to the uk in order to harvest organ for their daughter i do realize the implication of their action and i dare say it is unpleasant and condemnable and can't be tolerated in any sane or civilized society however it is my fervent desire that for the very one warm relations between the united kingdom and federal republic of nigeria for his position as one of the distinguished senators in the nigerian parliament and also for the sake of their daughter in question whose current health condition is in danger and requires an urgent medical attention you will use your good office to intervene and appeal to the court and the government of the united kingdom to be magnanimous magnanimous enough to tamper justice with mercy and less punishment that may have come take their good character and parental instincts and care into consideration i do hope mr and mrs eko eko Madu have learned from this distressing experience of theirs to guide their future actions or inaction so they will continue to be outstanding members of their community and we continue to con uh, contribute fully to the good people, to the good of the society in particular and the nation in general, the statements added. <laughs> Baba, you know, should say this one will work. Oh, you say this one, eh? I know you say this one, it will work. This one, eh? Me, I know you say this one, it will work. This one, you get a bill, really? <laughs> now, so it will work. Ah. Of course, if the Nigeria now forgets, you know, then so, hey, they go down say, I bet leave uh, now lay you one, uh, now you first do one. Uh, but I should say this one. Go walk, uh, hmm, well done, Baba. Well, you have done your best anyway. <laughs> uh, but I don't think whether those guys will listen to you. Huh. Okay, well, let's hear what Nigerians are saying because me, eh, I don't even know what I want to. As a passenger written to Buari and his court to have mercy on Omamadike. After they are caught, discharged, and acquitted, or Madike, criminal everywhere. We wish to have you again to lead our great nation, His Excellency. The ones we have now are busy fighting for religion and ethnicity. If a passenger was to be the one, be one of the kind leaders we have today, he would have find a way to kidnap Ikure Madu from America back to Nigeria. I'm sure he was found guilty and convicted of Afghan arresting. Let him face his music. Hmm. Nigerians are in jail unlawfully and innocently, but OBJ didn't write to those countries. A care brilliance for OBJ. There should have been a comprehensive, well thought plan from the federal government's diplomatic engagements, abnicio to the United Kingdom government to be lenient or free equity on this issue. <laughs> well done, OBJ. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people are, are for and against. What do you think with this um, OBJ's intervention? 